So today's video, this is just going to be a quick tip showing you kind of a shortcut for formulas. Especially in school, I absolutely loved writing my formulas this way because it helps you quickly convert from one formula to another. So I'm going to give you an example here. We'll, um, let's say our propagation speed is our frequency and it's times our wavelength. If I want to know the formula for my wavelength, I could either memorize that or I could write this a whole different way so that way it kind of makes sense. What I'll do is on my paper, I'll draw a triangle. And I'll separate into three quadrants here. So what's our original formula? It's, it's the propagation speed equals the frequency times the wavelength. So whatever's on this side, when I have this times this, what we'll do is we'll put that one on top. We'll put our frequency here and our wavelength here. So if I want to find what my whatever's on top, it doesn't matter what formula we used and put in this triangle this way. Whatever we do, we'll, you know, if we're trying to solve for propagation speed, well, we can see that it's going to be the formula and it's times the wavelength. But what if we want to switch this formula around and we want to see, you know, solve for the wavelength? Well, if we, if we look, we're actually going to see that the wavelength is actually the propagation speed over the frequency. So if we, this is what our equation will look like. It will be the propagation speed over the frequency. So you kind of just cover up whatever you want to solve for, and it'll give you the formula for the other. Just like if we want to solve for frequency, we can see that it's going to be propagation speed over the wavelength. So... just like that. And to get that formula you solve for this, it's going to be frequency times the wavelength. Let's do a different, um, let's do another formula just, just for example. So let's do our, like if we have our PRP equals 1 over the PRF, how would we write this out? Well, we'll draw our triangle. What's on top of the fraction is going to go in the top box. That's a number one. Let's write it this way just so it can separate it. We'll have our PRP and our PRF. So if I want to solve for my PRF, what's it going to be? It's going to be 1 over the PRP. What if I want to solve for 1? Well, that'll just be our PRP times our PRF. I love writing formulas out this way. It just makes it real quick to jump between all three of these equations very simply. Any formula that's either a equals B times C can be written this way. So A, B, and C. Or if it's A, B over C. You just write whatever's on top of the fraction on the top. And then the other two out like this and you can you can convert these however you want to to any other formula easily so let's take for example this top one here if I want to solve for C we're gonna put C equals well it's gonna be A over B and I don't even have to do any thought process or anything I just find that out pretty easily okay and you can always um, go to our formulas page on examrefresh.com slash formulas and see those. I'll put the link right here. And also, if you look over here, you can subscribe to our channel and just keep receiving videos. Kind of just quick tips to help you cement this information for your physics exam.